This weekend, of course, the 10-year anniversary of 9-11, and joining us on America's Radio Newsline right now to talk about the, uh, the events of that uh, fateful and tragic day, Dr. Gene Corley led the federal investigation into the collapse of the Twin Towers, also a certified and licensed structural engineer. Dr. Corley, thanks for being with us. I am glad to be with you. So, uh, you know, we could spend all night getting into the details of your report, but in a nutshell, what did your investigation find, uh, find out about how, why those buildings fell? Well, what we found was that uh, although the airplanes did a terrific amount of damage when they hit, they were not the sole cause for the towers coming down. Uh, what finally caused them to come down was the fires that burned in the buildings after the planes hit, the fires weakened the steel to the point that finally the buildings, each building collapsed. And doctor, wouldn't that be due to the jet fuel? That's what a lot of people are saying, the jet fuel burned so hot. But why would the buildings collapse if the, where the planes hit and the jet fuel was up at the top of the buildings? It looked like they collapsed from the base down. Uh, well, Okay, let me start at the beginning there. First of all, jet fuel does burn hotter than other fuels, uh, although there were plastics and things like that in the buildings, which also uh, do burn very hot. But the jet fuel, uh, we calculated, was all burned up within three to nine minutes. So the jet fuel started the fire, but it was not the only cause for the fire that was the later fire of the contents of the building that finally uh, brought them down. Now, uh, we looked very carefully at all of the video footage that we could lay our hands on, and the collapse of the buildings did start at the location where the aircraft went into the building, not at the base. So it started at the weakened place in the building and, of course, where the fire uh, was burning also. So the conspiracy theories, the documentaries, 9-11, In Plain Sight, Loose Change, those uh, hold no standing as far as uh, you're concerned in your investigations? Uh, as far as uh, I'm concerned, uh, each one of the issues that they have raised uh, uh, has clear physical uh, and visual evidence that uh, what really happened was the aircraft damaged the buildings and then the fire brought them down later. There was no other uh, event that occurred in the building that uh, did anything. Doc Dr. Corley, uh, is there a way that wind towers could have been built differently, better, stronger, that they wouldn't have collapsed? Or conversely, was their design and building uh, the cause uh, of this uh, horrific tragedy? Uh, these buildings were uh, very well designed. In fact, many buildings, if they were hit by an aircraft going as fast and, and being as large as those aircraft were, uh, many buildings would have collapsed instantaneously, and that, of course, would have been a, a much worse situation. Uh, so these buildings did very well. They stood up for one of them for an hour, one of them uh, uh, almost an hour and 45 minutes, and that allowed 98% of the people below where the aircraft hit uh, to exit the building and get, a, get to safety. Uh, could a building be built to survive a particular aircraft uh, crash? Yes, uh, it could, but uh, uh, the problem is uh, there are a lot bigger aircraft than the ones that hit that building, and... Um, uh, we don't know what's going to be built in the f uh, future. There may be even build a, a bigger aircraft. So to design buildings to resist all of the aircraft that might be hijacked and flown into them, uh, it, it just can't be done. And uh, quickly, we're, uh, while we're up against the clock here, Dr. Corley, uh, thank you so much for being with us. It's a fascinating subject, and, uh, and we appreciate your time with us. I'm glad to talk to you. Thank All you, right. sir. Dr. Corley led the federal investigation into the collapse of the Twin Towers, and he's a certified licensed structural engineer. And, uh, yeah, it's obviously a fascinating subject.